Okay, Red Legs just down here with uh, Under 18's coach Paul Anderson. Thanks, Paul, for joining us here exclusively at Red Legs TV. Um, just first of all, congratulations to uh, you and your you and your uh, team for uh, your achievements so far and getting into the uh, the grand final. Thanks, Phil. So, um, how's your preparation been uh, so far for this week? Or yeah, overall? yeah, no, I've been really good. The boys are really keen, ready to go. Uh, be training really well tonight was excellent and they trained really well on Saturday and uh, certainly ready to give it the best shot for this weekend Phil. Very good. Um, well, so what does the rest of the week bring? Uh, the rest of the week bring, hopefully we get a big crowd here Thursday night. I'd like everybody to get down here and support the boys, not just from Bensdale Football Club but also for the local aligning clubs uh, where all the boys have come from uh, in the past. But uh, I really hope that this week here brings us a lot of success and hopefully not just on the field but off the field. Very good. Uh, so what's your, been your key messages or what will be your key message to the group this week? Attitude. Be right attitude on the day. Give it 100%. Make sure that uh, you don't leave nothing behind in the old basket as a cliche. So I want to make sure that they stick to it all week. Very good. Now, what's uh, what or who's going to be your X Factor this weekend come Sunday? To be honest with you, I hope that all of them are X Factors. But um, oh, I think our X Factor is our, once, once again our attitude. But uh, I can't really pick out an individual. I think this year with that even that uh, probably no one. I think they all have to stand up. They all stand up. We should go pretty well, I hope. Now, Terrell in the last few weeks, they seem to be pretty strong finishers. Uh, second semi, they come back at us and uh, they come over the top of uh, Lane Gatha in last week's prelim. You got any insights into that? Yeah, they're a pretty good outfit, aren't they? They just managed to seem to pop up at the right time. They did it last year as well. They only beat Lane Gatha after the last kick of the siren, so that's two years in a row. And they just know how to keep coming, so we're going to be prepared for that, really. So uh, hopefully we can not be in that situation like we were last time. We had a good enough lead, so hopefully we can maintain that. Very good. Uh, now, you've got a large squad, very large squad this year. It's taken a large squad to get you to where you've got to this year. It is. So, um, no doubt a few selection issues. Now, have you have you got any uh, injury concerns that maybe have made your job a little easier, Rando? Uh, no real key injury concerns. It's just a lot of headaches, Phil. A lot of uh, uh, no night's sleep, really. I lose a bit of sleep at this time of year, but in saying that, you said it before, it has taken the whole squad to get, get us to where we are today. Uh, we've had times that we've only had 20 blokes available, 16 against Moe in the last game of the year, and we've always, uh, it's, it's been 30, 32 blokes that have got me here today. So I think we have to take that into account. Got a couple of guys injured, but they were injured a while ago. No recent ones, Phil, unfortunately. So any uh, any last uh, thoughts for the uh, Red Legs fans? Yes, uh, get down there and support us and hopefully we can get a win. Go Red Legs.